For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. Hi, I'm Surya Gangadharan, and this evening our focus is on the attack on the Assam Rifles convoy uh, two days ago, which uh, resulted in the death of its CEO, uh, his family, and four other personnel. The details of the attack are well known. Um, I have with me General Shokin Chauhan, former Director General of the Assam Rifles, to give us some to break down this uh, incident for us and uh, give us some insight. General um, Chauhan, welcome. Thank you so much, Surya. Nice seeing you and being with you on the show. Uh, sir, um, <clears throat> this is the first time in some years, I believe, that this attack of this kind has happened. Uh, what does that tell us about, uh, does it herald something more serious? The issue about uh, the Manipur insurgency is that uh, this is an insurgency which has been festering for a very long time. Uh, you're aware that uh, Manipur was a kingdom. Uh, which was under first the uh, uh, first uh, Myanmar or Burma at that time, the Burmese Empire, and later yeah. under the British. And finally, on independence, the king of uh, Manipur, Raja, uh, the king of Manipur, actually uh, ceded his kingdom to uh, to India. But this this has been a festering problem, Surya. Uh, by the 1960s, uh, early 1960s, actually the uh, questions started being raised about the insurgency, uh, about the forced merger of Manipur with, uh, with the Republic of India. And subsequently, by the late 70s, an armed insurgency began. The PLA itself, which is the main protagonist in this uh, ambush, was raised in 1978. And uh, though from time to time we have neutralized the PLA and brought it down to an absolute zero, uh, it continues to fester and continues to raise its head every once in a while. So what does this issue tell us about, uh, about uh, Chura Chanpur and why Chura Chanpur and why, uh, why an ambush there and why Colonel Biplop the party? These must be the questions in your head. Firstly, uh, Chura Chanpur district itself, let's analyze the, its geographical location. Chura Chanpur is actually a border district between uh, Manipur, uh, of the state of Manipur and the Myanmar border. The road on which uh, Colonel Tripathi was uh, ambushed leads to BP-50, that is uh, on the Indo-Myanmar border. Of recent times, uh, I'm talking about the last five to seven years, uh, uh, when I was the Director General of the Assam Rifles, uh, and we had found that there was a lot of uh, narcotic smuggling and a lot of uh, illegal smuggling that was taking place on the road from Moray to Imphal. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of problems when we established a check post on this road. The Assam Rifles established a check post. And then later on, we got some very good equipment, including under, under vehicle scanners, which helped detect a lot of uh, narcotics. And this resulted in all these groups, especially the valley-based groups, the, what we call the VBIGs, of which PLA, KYKL, uh, Prepark are all members of, uh, losing a lot of revenue due to mm -hmm. this drug and timber smuggling. The road from BP-50 actually became an alternative route to Imphal, which okay. they could use. Uh, Knowing that this would happen, uh, the army, uh, the army command, in fact, uh, Trico, established, uh, sent in an additional two battalions of the army, along with the three battalions of the Assam Rifles, to hold this very important uh, border district, and to ensure that smuggling and uh, the movement of these, uh, of uh, these valley-based groups and the other insurgent groups does not, uh, you know, is stopped. And that, I feel, is the problem why uh, this ambush has happened. Because they've lost a lot of revenue, the, the valley-based groups. And uh, hitting the Assam rifles actually to put caution on, on, on us.